Nine of ten Indians died lack protein. More than eighty percent of Indians have protein deficiency. Seventy-three percent of lack protein. Need more protein. Yeah. My doctor tells me that I need at least 0.8 grams of protein. My trainer told me that I need at least one. And that YouTube video, I think that said two. Why the is there so much confusion around it? I tried finding more about this, and turns out that this is the most important number for an average person who weighs around 70 kgs. This is what their protein intake looks like. But who decided this number? Where did it even come from? And do we stick to 0.8 or one or two? To find this out, I had to go back in time, like really back in time. In 1816, this French researcher called Magendi found out that animals who were fed diets without protein would die. This established that protein is essential for life. And then in the 1870s, Carl Voigt found out that humans need at least 118 grams of protein a day. That translates to 1.7 grams of protein per kg body weight, basically double of what we suggested today. But his observation was only based on laborers who would do manual labor day in and day out. This recommendation went unchallenged for decades. Until 1904, when Russell Chittenden decided to test it, he did a bunch of scientific experiments with soldiers and athletes, and found out that 0.8 grams of protein did just fine. And then came World War II. U.S. government really wanted to find out the adequate amount of protein that it should give its people. They decided to take the previous figure of 0.8. Added a safety margin to it and came up with a figure of one gram of protein. This was the first official RDA. And three decades later, in 1974, RDA was officially set at 0.8 grams of protein per kg body weight. And remarkably enough, this figure hasn't changed in the last 50 years. We all definitely need this much, and yet. 80% Indians don't even get it. But wait, scientists are now finding out that you actually need more than 0.8 depending on your fitness levels and your age. So the next time someone asks you how much protein do you need, the real answer depends on the question. What's enough to survive or what's optimal to thrive? And that's the whole truth.